Now then, I gotta remove this guy off. It's a nice board. I can understand the reason why this came with a stabilization um, board like that, that metal part, is actually to keep it steady so it doesn't uh, give you any type of um, noise vibration while it's running. I don't know why this was there. Oh, this is the SPDIF. Oh, funny. I didn't see if this came with an attachment. Let me see if that's it. Hold on. I want to make sure I got this right. I'll take it out again. You know, for the most part, I should review the... Um, Let me review the manual for one second before we go any further. Uh, PCI Express 16. By the way, this is a PCI Express 16 board. Features. Connecting the SPDIF to the graphics card. Connect. So there is a port here. Or no, it doesn't come with that. Selected models only. Connecting your HD TV via HDMI allows you to output your both digital audio and video from your graphic cards through your a single cable. Connecting through intermittently devices such as a hub or receiver is not recommended. If you're connecting to your display over an HDMI and have attached a spiff cable for audio output, refer to the illustration below for instructions on connecting the SPDIF cable. You need to set the SPDIF output to be your audio default device. Cable can be connected to the HB SPDIF header on the motherboard or sound card. Certain graphics cards with uh, or HDMI ports may not require a SPDIF cable for audio output. Yet mine does. Mine has one. And according to the illustrations, it looks like it's back here. But I don't see it. Yet it refers to selected models. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Considering that I'm not hooking this up to my HDMI cable just yet, I think the best thing to do is to hook it up regardless and we'll deal with it later. So, back to this. Just tuck that in to the side. On the talk of video, uh, video cards, why don't you guys tell me what video cards you guys uh, got during your, you know, Black Friday deals or ordering online? Not uh, what you got two years ago or a month ago. Tell me what you guys got for Thanksgiving weekend. Nice and tight. All right, so this is the power supply that goes with him. 
Oh, let me lock this into place first. There we go. There we go. There you go. All right. Now that we've hooked this up, let's fire this guy up and see what frame rate and score I get on my machine this time. Okay, after um, configuring the video card and uh, installing the drivers, I also installed this uh, EVGA precision program that came with the uh, the disc, and it's it be, pretty much gives me the specification of the video card as it's perceived by the by the actual uh, my you know my Alienware workstation. Um, for now, the processor clock speed is rated at fifteen twenty six. Mind you, that's on the GPU. Clock memory speed is 1900, which is, I think, supposed to be rated at 3600, but I, I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the fan speed is set at 30. Um, I said it's 30, I guess. So at this moment, I have a GPU cooling speed, uh, cooling temperature of 38 degrees. Um, I have to read up on this and uh, try to understand how this. Um, this um, system works. On top of that, I did. I ran another uh, Windows Experience Index, and now please note it still rates it at 5.9 in my previous um, previous recording. Um, but the Graphics and Gaming Graphics Index, which was 7.1 before, went up to 7.4. So that's been uh, I would say a 20 to 25 percent. No, I wouldn't say 20 to 25 percent. I think maybe more like a five to seven percent increase. I could my math could be off here, so correct me if I'm wrong. So it, it, there has been a significant improvement. Clearly, if I would have gotten a much more better video card, like let's say the GTX 470 or 480, or maybe go into an ATI uh, brand, which the Taylor Drive would never get into, I would probably see a much more higher score maybe going up to eight but considering the price and it is a much better architecture than my original 260 i'll take it i'll take it uh, the way it is furthermore it's my machine is a lot more quieter now especially under heavy loads so let's see what type of frame rate we get with the current games that i was playing before let's do this marine Okay, next up is Modern Warfare called from the Call of Duty series. At this moment in time, the game is hovering at 60 frames per second. Even with uh, a couple of people on, even with a couple of people on on the ground, you know, a few. It hasn't wavered yet. Ah! It hasn't dipped below 60. So this uh, game is pretty, you know, pretty much holding its own with this series. There you go. Next up is Battle Co Battlefield Bad Company 2. Again, I'm uh, I have increased this to the highest point possible. And I got shot. But it's now hovering at 60 frames per second. That and the fact that I've increased the Altec Lansings up to four. I should have decreased it down to, to uh, two how I had it the last time, but uh, it it is at the highest se settings that I had previously. Now, I didn't mention this before uh, in my previous uh, review or demonstration 
with the uh, Bad Company 2 game. There were times when, when I was playing, my screen would flicker and flash to the point where I couldn't, you know, it, 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 I get like a, you know, blank screen. I'm not getting it with this game. But it's still hovering at 50. That's why, because I've increased the frame rate, um, increased the settings on this pretty well. It's very smooth, to tell you the truth. Gotcha. if I can get that tank before some sniper got to my ass. Ah, but I got you back. I have to admit, when I was playing this game prior, before I began doing this review, I actually had to lower the, um, the settings down to Hold on a second, guys. No one hiding behind here. Hmm. Nope. So, like I was saying, I had to lower the uh, the settings down on this so I can at least play it. Now, at the highest settings, it's it's above norm to the point where it's easy for me to work with. It is very smooth, to tell you the truth. I'm noticing something right now. After being shot, I'm hearing the actual uh, sound card being, you know, running really loud in the background. Let me demonstrate. Turning off the volume on my on my uh, keyboard, from my keyboard, you can pretty much hear the video card going completely uh, nuts right now at heavy load. It's slowing down a bit. Ah, it's going down a little bit more. Gotcha. All right, so you guys get, you guys understand uh, what I've, uh, where I'm coming from with this game. <laughs> Next up, it's Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm going to say this. Frame mount on this is 90 plus. I haven't seen it dip yet. It's, it's hitting at 90 and it doesn't it dips down a bit here and there but not too you know extreme no you're not securing alpha shit this is locked down hold your positions enemy attack incoming 